Hello everybody, this is Josh Goth here, and I wanted to provide this little tutorial for you just to demonstrate a concept for how submission of PDP forms could work uh, in a fashion that would result in no paper. Everything would be done digitally. And I based how I created this off of the parameters that uh, Tony sent to me, and so I'm going to do my best to cover those areas. I think that this will be a great way to accomplish that uh, and if you have any things that maybe I didn't cover in here or that you're trying to do that this isn't doing uh, please let me know and we can we can talk about something else uh, so one of the things was that teachers would be able to access any of the forms uh, so what I did was I created this folder PDP forms uh, and this is what you would do and then you would make sure that in here you would put all the forms that were needed and then I thought, well, you could share with all the staff, but then if you get staff that come and go, uh, that could become an issue of trying to keep up with, with who needs what. So uh, instead, I thought this might work best if things are housed in a Google site. So I created this Google site that could be a mock-up of what you could use for this. So as you can see here, this website has a page that actually contains all of those forms. So you could just link to this from the staff resources section of the school web page. So it would click in here, and it would open right to this page where all the PDP forms would be found. Uh, in addition, I'll get to this a little later, here are the directions that they would use if they were really not technically adept um, at submitting their PDP document. And then here is the simple PDP submission form uh, that they would use when submitting their document. So one of the steps they would need to do uh, if we we're using this method is this folder would simply be view only. So what that means is when they open up these files, you know, it's like the base copy. They can only see what was typed up, but they can't edit it in any way. And that's good because you want to have the copy made exactly the way the PDP team wants it, and you don't want it to be altered. But that you do want them to have their own copy. So the way that they would do this is just file, make a copy, give it a name that they want, and then click OK. And then they would simply fill in the information in the form. And then they would take this and they would click share. They would want to make sure they change this setting so that people at the school district of Denmark with the link can find it. But only the PDP group will see the link and I'll show you how that works. And then, if you want them to edit it, we can say that. If you want to be able to edit it, we can change that. But otherwise, I think viewing it would be fine. We can save that. And then, actually, up here is the link they would need to copy. Then they would go in here. And, you know, if they still were unsure what to do, there's some directions with some links to the places they would need to go. And we can double check and make sure my directions are correct for what you'd like them to do. And then they have this PDP submission form right here. So this is just a mock form that you could use. It gives some instructions as to what the purpose of the form is. And then they would simply fill in their first name, last name, email. And then what, what was the type of form they submitted. You could create a multiple choice. Uh, so this will help you with organizing and sorting inside your spreadsheet. And then they paste their link to the document right there and submit. So then this will be sent to a form that only the PDP team will have access to. So that way they can see it, comment on it, but then they don't have to worry about others having access to it. So then just as an example, I created another folder, which is PDP form submission folder. And that is where uh, this is hidden or any other documents the PDP team wants to share would be hidden. So when you click in here, this is how it looks. First name, last name, email, type of document, and then the link is submitted here. And then it's very simple to just click on the link to open the document and take a look at it. So that is the general mock-up of what the PDP team could use to facilitate this. Uh, like I said, this website link could be embedded on the Denmark Schools homepage. And that would be a really easy way to get here. And I, I believe the directions are fairly simple. Uh, they're things I believe teachers should.